Hey guys, Terry here. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do something very special, and that is to show you guys what Athena 2 or the underground bunker is looking like. Thank you so much for all the positive comments and the positive reviews on my latest and most popular YouTube video. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for over 320 subscribers. If you guys like more of this content, please leave a like and comment. Thank you so much. And let us get started with this beautiful video. So, Athena 2 is the biggest underground bunker in the mosque. And this is where we are currently heading. I'm playing on a offline version. But on this version, the same loot spawns exactly as it would on a normal multiplayer server. And zombies would also spawn as a normal place. Spoiler for everybody. I am going underground. Kind of makes sense, else I wouldn't do this video. But if you don't want to see the underground, please leave the video. Check out my other stuff on YouTube. Subscribe if you want to do that. <laughs> and yeah, let's get started with the video. About all of this though, is I'm pretty sure that the uh, the darkness thing whatever is not working inside of these bunkers in this offline version though i know for sure that in multiplayer servers and servers you're currently playing on this bunker is going to be pitch black so what you want to do is when you grab grab yourself a head torch or a flashlight or night vision or whatever i am pretty sure on this version that i'm playing on right now the uh, the pitch black uh, trigger zone is not working so it's not going to be pitch black but i can show you down here what kind of loot there is and i'm just going to give you guys a overview of athena 2 so let's get started so the very first floor basement floor it's looking like this just gonna go through room of room check out all the different loot so nurse dress here just gonna check out all the different loot there is down here see what kind of loot that can spawn and where things are, are going remember that if servers are modded heavily or just have a small uh, amount of mods other items may be able to spawn down here or they are gonna spawn down here um these items that are spawning on the floor is just normal uh, vanilla items without any mods on. So as you guys can see, the first floor is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. You can see down to the next floor through here. If I if I jump up to this one right here, I don't even know if I can. I can. It goes all the way down. So what you actually can do is you can go and jump out onto this one and then jump down to that one. And you can sneak attack people like that if you want to. Suit pants. Pretty standard loot up here on the first one. You gotta remember that this zone isn't a high military zone. Even though it kinda is. It's a pretty rare zone. You need some pretty good stuff to go down here. Most, most because mostly... Mostly because it's gonna be pitch black down here. There's an arm here, looking good. Vitamin pills, some shoes, some ambient noises. Still some ambient noises from the ground level because as you can see, we are still very, very far up. Motorcycle helmet, was that a gas mask? Nope. This is basement two can see you can go out to the balcony like thing we can look up the places are getting a little bit bigger this underground bunker right here Athena 2 is the biggest bunker of them all this is another entrance to the bunker this is a side entrance the normal entrance is right over there it's a side entrance and it goes past the first level goes directly down to basement number two which is right here if you jump like out here nothing will happen at least i don't think so nope it's a bug that's what happens now pretty standard loot here gotta be careful there's two entrances now from here you can go down to the uh down to the next level check in here in the server room Standard. 
Teachers. While still being inside the server room, I just made it to the other side. There's more loot here. As usual. Standard loot. Just a small backpack. Making it out the back entrance. We'll get to a hallway. This is from where we got down. We can check out the... There might be a kitchen right here. Yep. Standard. Can't get through here. Every door with bars on, you can't get in. You should know that if you've been playing this game for a while. Let's see what's in here. I haven't explored this place for myself in the new day season. This is new for me as well. In this door, you can't get through though, which is very nice. It's like a different door. Pretty good place to sit in camp, wait for people to come in, you know? <laughs> Play cheeky. The bunker is extremely big. It really is big. Athena 2 is the is the biggest bunker in the on the entire map actually. Server room again. Alright, let's go down one more level. As you guys can remember over there. There's nothing. There was a little bit, but not a lot. Which is bungalow level 3. Basement. Can't open this elevator shaft. Now the usual. On servers, you can manage what kind of loot spawns where. So, if you think the loot down here is pretty bad, remember that other servers can change the loot. So, better loot could spawn down here on your server specifically. So, but it's, I would say it's it's worth it going down here anyway. As you can see, there's like a big industrial machine, battery, something that controls the whole stuff. If you guys are lucky, you can actually find a a piece of paper on on which there is written a lot of uh, different um there's written a lot of different uh story lore sorry on it so if you want to read about athena 2 and what happened and what have happened about the bunker and the mosque you should definitely pick up that piece of paper and, and read it it has the possibility of spawning down here. As you guys can see, there's, there's so much. On the third level, you can actually... It's pretty dangerous to run down here. But you gotta remember, for you, it's probably not gonna be this this uh, this bright. It's gonna be really dark. And you can see flashlights all the way around. And you can see gem... Uh, what, what are they called? Uh, chem lights and stuff like that. If you see people throwing chem lights or people having night vision you know, on, you gotta like remember that... That this place is very dark. As you guys can see, it's very big. It's very, very big. Now we are on the fourth basement level. And down here is like, you were there before. It's extremely big. Like, this place is so big and there's so much stuff to loot down here. Now this goes to somewhere. Oh, this goes to like a bunker. Usually M4s can spawn here, like night vision. Other good stuff can spawn here. You gotta be careful of those pictures if you're streaming. <laughs> here, there's a lot of stuff here. As you can see, probably food can spawn. I think this place is is pretty. This place is pretty good for um for finding loot and like all kinds of different loot. This right here is bait. Now what you see right here is the original original gauze rifle it's the og that people on the mosque back in the daisy armor 2 mod had this version though it's not available to pick up or anything it's just for show it's just here to bait you but most servers have the gauze rifle mod installed so usually and for the most part that rifle will be on every single multiplayer server you'll find unless the uh, the admin of the server hasn't installed the, the mod or the mod which I think if he hasn't done that it's kind of stupid because that rifle is kind of part of the game or part of the map sorry so should be there I'm pretty certain now this is another kind of like storage room service room like a server room I think it is as you can see, very big. So much stuff here. 
ghillie hood. Pretty sick. Open here as well. As you guys can see, this bunker is the biggest bunker there is in Hold of the Mosque. It's incredible. I haven't seen a bunker being this big before. You can take the ladder down from all the way on top, like the, the very first floor. You can take it all the way down and you can jump directly st straight down to here. So actually, there's like three places you can get down here from. Another room, an EpiPen right there to wake your friend up if he's in need. This place is pretty good for medical supplies as well. I've seen a couple of things. Kind of like, see, I told you. What are they called? Uh, morphine. That's right. I forgot. And it's the OG. OG skin. <laughs> I like that, man. I like that. So I guess that's the whole of this level. So what we'll try and do now is go one more level down. See if we can manage to figure our way out here. This place is very big, as you guys can see. And down here, now don't take my word for it, but I think that this level, basement 5, is the place where you find the ghost rifle. Are you all my I'm pretty certain this place is where you find the ghost rifle. Now you might remember this from a video that I did. Called the mosque overview if you haven't seen that one go check it out it's at currently nearly 6,000 views or 5,000 sorry thank you so much for the support once again guys really appreciate it now the place doesn't go further down so therefore there's like water at the edges of the doors just to kind of like say hey no more here very beautiful very beautiful so this like last level is just like it's kind of like the best of the best loot kind of but it's just very small as well i don't know if, if 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 in the future he'll expand on this i don't think he will but it could be nice if he did i don't know if you can go down here to be honest i don't think you can no cannot but that is pretty much it for the bunker we'll just uh, do one more lap on it see if we can find anything specific And yeah, as you guys can see, it's crazy. Some very good loot is supposed to spawn down here at the very last level. Not something like that. Lots of good PvP going on in here as well, I could think. And yeah, guys, this is Athena or the underground bunker on the mosque, day C 1.10. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, rate, comment, do all the good stuff. You know how to do. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.